Hey guys, so for today's video, I am doing a makeup tutorial on this look. It is super glowy and shimmery and summery and kind of like daytime glam. So my inspiration for this look was from the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Champagne Pop, which is the newest one to the line and it was created by Jaclyn Hill. So that kind of inspired this whole look. Going right along with the whole Jaclyn Hill theme, I am using the Morphe palette and this is the one that Jaclyn Hill created as well. You can purchase all these shadows individually so I will leave the numbers or names down in the description box for you. So I'm first taking this really warm toned brownish orange shade and just messily throwing that in the crease and then I'm going to be taking this other orangish brown shade and this was just a little bit darker and I'm just going to layer this on to give the look a little bit of dimension. I'm gonna pop this frosted yellow shade on my brow bone, which in the end doesn't really do anything um, because I am gonna cover it up later, but um, I didn't know that at this point. So I just pop this on my brow bone, and as you can see, it gives it a really lifted and um, pretty glow. And then next, I'm gonna go in with this really pretty champagne-y um, shimmery color. And I'm gonna put this all over my lid. I'm gonna make sure I blend that with the crease color so it looks seamless. And I absolutely love this color, and I think this goes really well with Champagne Pop. And you will see in just a second where I put that. Now I'm gonna go in with this matte brown shade and I'm gonna place this in the outer third of my eye. I feel like this just ties the look in really well together and it just gives it a little bit more dimension. Was anybody else sitting around waiting for 12 o'clock to roll around when Champagne Pop uh, first went live? because I definitely was, and when I got mine, I literally fell in love. If you follow me on Snapchat, then you definitely saw that because I was raving about it that day. So speaking of that, I'm gonna go in with that color um, Champagne Pop, and this is a shimmering skin perfecter, which you generally use on your cheekbones, but I placed this in the center of my lids, and I really like how this came out because it gave my eyes sort of like an ombre look. So then I'm also going to take that on my inner corners to highlight that area. I'm also just going to dab a little bit of this on the arch of my brow bone. I just want my whole face to be extra glowy today and I like the way that this lifts my brow, which I go back and finish this later so just kind of ignore those right now. <laughs> Um, this is a Marc Jacobs um, eyeliner and I got this in a 500 point perk so I'm not 100% positive on what the name of this actually is but I will leave it in the description box if you're interested in it and I have to say I'm kind of obsessed. So now for mascara I'm going in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex. Absolutely love this stuff. Definitely worth the splurge. I had been wondering if it was for so long and I'm really glad that I finally caved and bought it. To line my lower lash line, I'm going to first go in with this kind of taupey purple color. It just looked interesting to me, so honestly that's why I picked it. Um, I go over my lower lash line here in a little bit with a, another shade as well. Um, and this is NARS Coconut Grove, and it is just straight up a matte chocolate brown shade and I like using this on my lower lash line I just think it's really flattering and I basically use this shadow every single day not gonna lie I love it that much it is worth the investment after that I'm just gonna go back in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara to give my bottom lashes a coat I really like this stuff because it makes my bottom lashes look amazing like I generally have long eyelashes um, but this stuff just kind of accentuates that, so I think it is super pretty. I'm going to apply these Ardell Natural 110 lashes off camera because I suck at doing it on camera. And then I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D shade and light palette and I'm going to bronze up my skin first with that middle shade. 
I like to contour with this gray tone brown shade right here. I really like to make my nose look slimmer. It's not big or like misshapen at all, but um, I just like the way it looks. So I usually contour my nose every day, just lightly, nothing major. Um, and then I will go in and contour my cheekbones and I'll just put a little bit of this on the temples on my forehead and that's basically it. It's nothing too hard or anything like that. I just wanted a light contour today. This is ColourPop's Between the Sheets blush and this is honestly one of my favorite colors. I absolutely love this. It's just so wearable. You can wear this any time of the year and basically with any look because it's just like the perfect color for that. And then obviously I'm going to go in with Champagne Pop and make those cheekbones glow. I mean, hello. Hashtag highlight on fleek. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So as you can see, I just put it on the tops of my cheekbones, on the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, a little above my brows because why not, and in the middle of my forehead because I just want to glow like a disco ball today. For lips, I'm using the Rimmel London Show Off Lip Lacquer and this is the color Nude Eclipse. Literally most worn lip color all month long. I think I might do a current favorites video and you guys will definitely be seeing this if I end up doing that video because I have a serious obsession with this lip lacquer. I just am absolutely head over heels in love with this color and it just gives your lips like a really satiny sort of finish. Um, this is like the glossy one, this isn't the matte one. They have a matte line as well. I am going to squirt a little bit of Fix Plus on my face because I just want my makeup to be locked and loaded and ready for the day. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this sort of glowy daytime glam look. If you do recreate it, then make sure you tag me on social media. All of my links for Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat will be in the description box. So check down there and make sure you guys go follow me to keep up with me. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. If you have any requests or comments, make sure you leave them in the comment section down below. I would love to chat with you. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!